friends, I invite you to meet my new Patreon tier, where I am uploading all my lessons step by step, but with the tabs on the screen. This is the easiest way to learn my arrangements. While you listen to my explanation and see what I play with each of my hands, you can follow the video tab on the screen. And also, to encourage you to get it, I am offering a 7-day free trial. I'll be waiting for you. Okay friends, now we are going to learn how to play the song I am playing with my guitar on standard tuning E, A, D, G, B, E I'm going to divide the song in four parts and then at the end I will play all parts together Measure number one and two sounds like this position, 6th string on the 5th fret with the pinky finger, 5th string on the 3rd fret with the middle finger and 4th string on the 2nd fret with the index finger. And then I play this arpeggio, 6th, 5th, 4th, I played four times. One, two, three, and four. Okay, with me. Three, four. Okay, now measure number three. At the beginning I play together 5th string open and 3rd string on the 2nd fret with the ring finger then with a hammer on I go to the 5th string 3rd fret with the pinky finger I will keep these two fingers here and I will play then the 4th string on the 2nd fret and then again the 5th string on the 3rd and then I play this I play together 5th string open at the beginning and 2nd string on the 1st fret then 3rd string on the 2nd fret and then I play this I play 4th string open and 1st string on the 5th fret and then third string on the fifth fret so let's play from the beginning of this measure again okay and let's play from the beginning of this part three Four. Well, measure number four sounds like this. I put this C major position, beginning, 5th string, 3rd fret, 3rd string open, 2nd string on the 1st fret, and 1st string on the 3rd fret. And at the beginning I play this, I play together 5th and 1st string, then 3rd, 2nd, 3rd. And then I keep the position except for the pinky finger. I play the first string open and 
I play the same arpeggio. So, from the beginning of this measure. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this part. Three, four. sounds like this. Five and six. At the beginning I play this. I play together four string open and second string on the third fret, then with the ring finger, I go to the fourth string on the third fret with the hammer on, then third string on the second fret, and then first string open. Then I keep my pinky finger in the second string on the third fret and I play together with the fourth string open and then again hammer on to the fourth string third fret and then I play this I play together third string second fret and second string on the first fret and then I play the fourth string on the third fret so from here from the beginning of this measure okay and then I play this I put this F major position with the sixth string on the first fret the fifth string on the third fourth string on the third fret and the third string on the second fret and I play this arpeggio sixth and third and then fifth fourth fifth and then I play sixth fifth fourth fifth let's play together the last two measures Three, four. Okay, and let's play from the beginning of this part. Three, four. Okay friends, now we are going to learn how to play the second part of the song. Measure number 7 sounds like this. At the beginning I put an A minor chord and I play at the beginning 5th and 2nd strings, then 4th, 3rd, 4th. Then I play this. At the 
the beginning I play together. Fifth and first strings open, then second string, first fret, then first string, fret number eight, and second string, fret number five. So. Let's play together, three, four. Measure number eight sounds like this. At the beginning, I play this together sixth string open and first string fret number seven, then third string open, second string open, third string open. I play together 6th string open and 1st string on the 3rd fret then 3rd string open, then I play these 2 strings together 1st and 2nd open and then again 3rd string open from the beginning of this measure Let's play from the beginning of this part, three, four, okay, measure number nine sounds like this. together 6th string on the 1st fret and 2nd string on the 3rd fret with the pinky then 4th string on the 3rd fret and then 1st string open and then again the 4th string on the 3rd fret ok, then I play this Sixth string on the first fret and first string on the third fret together, then fourth string on the third fret, third string on the second fret, and then first string open. So from the beginning of this measure. play from the beginning of this part, three, four, number 10 at the beginning I put the C major chord with the 6th string on the 3rd fret 4th string open, 3rd string open and 2nd string on the 3rd fret I play together 6th and 2nd string at the beginning then 4th, 3rd, 4th And then I play this. I play together 6th string on the 3rd fret, 3rd string on the 2nd fret and 2nd string on the 1st fret. Then 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string. Open. 4th string open, 3rd string open and 
fourth string open. So from the beginning of this measure, okay, let's play from the beginning of this part, three, four. measure number 11. At the beginning I play 6th string on the 3rd fret, 3rd string on the 4th fret and 2nd string on the 3rd fret. Then 4th string open, 3rd string open, 4th string open. Okay, let's play from the beginning. Sorry, let's play from here. Measure number 10 and the first note of measure number 11. Three, four. Now let's play from the beginning of this second part, three, four. together first and second part three four Okay, let's learn now the third part of the song, the last four notes of measure number 11 and measure number 12 sounds like this. At the beginning I play, I put this position, 6th string on the 3rd fret, 5th string on the 2nd fret and 4th string on the 2nd fret I play 6th, 5th and 4th strings together then 5th string and then I play together 4th string 2nd fret and 3rd string open and then again the 5th string okay and then I play this chord chord, 6th string 1st fret, 5th and 4th strings on the 3rd fret and 3rd string on the 2nd fret. Okay, 
okay and then I play first string on the fifth fret with the pinky finger and then again with the pinky finger first string on the third fret so okay next measure measure number 13 sounds like this At the beginning, I put this position, 5th string on the 3rd fret, 4th string on the 3rd fret, 3rd string open and 1st string on the 3rd fret, I play together 5th and 1st strings, then 4th string, 3rd, 4th, and then I play. together 5th string on the 3rd fret and 4th string on the 2nd fret and then 3rd string open from the beginning of this measure ok, let's play from the beginning of this part 1, 2 Measure number 14 sounds like this. I put this position 6th string, 1st fret, 5th and 4th strings open, and 3rd string on the 2nd fret. And then I play 1st string on the 1st fret, and then open. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this part. One, two. Okay, and now the first four notes of measure number. 15 sounds like this I put this position 5th string open then 3rd string on the fret number 4 2nd string on the 1st fret and 1st string open and I play 5th and 1st strings open then 3rd, 2nd, 3rd So let's play from here. With me, three, four. Okay, and let's play from the beginning of this part. Three, four. Okay, let's play from the beginning of the song. Three, four.
Okay, let's learn now how to play the last part of the song. Measure number 16 and the last two notes of measure number 15 sounds like this. At the beginning I play the first string open, then on the third fret and then I play this fourth string on the third fret and first string on the fifth fret then third string on the fifth fret and then I go to this position I put a half bar in the fret number five and I play the first string on the fret number eight and then third string fret number five. Then I play first string on the fret number five with the half bar, then again third string fret number five then second string fret number eight and then again third string fret number five okay with me one two okay now Measure number 17 sounds like this. I play at the beginning this chord. Sixth string on the third fret, third, second, and first strings open, then third string open, then first string, third fret, and then again third string open. Then I play this. Second string, third fret, third string open. Second string, first fret, third string open. So, from the beginning of this measure. Okay, let's play from the beginning of this part. One, two. Measure number 18 sounds like this. At the beginning I will put this position, F major position with a bar in the first fret, then fifth string on the third fret, fourth string on the third fret, and second and third string on the second fret. F major, I play 6th, 5th, 4th and 3rd strings together, then the 5th string, then 2nd, 5th, from the beginning, then I play 3rd, 5th, 3rd string open and again 5th string on the 3rd fret. Well, let's play from the beginning of this part. One, two. And then to finish, I play this. fret then third second and first strings open then third string open 
first string on the third fret and again third string open so and then I play this second string on the third fret fourth string open third string open and second string on the first fret and then to finish I play this chord, A minor chord, playing 5th, 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings. So, from the beginning of these measures, okay, let's play from the beginning of this part, 1, 2, from the beginning of the song let's play the full song three four Do you know that the most of those who start the video don't get to finish it? Congratulations, you have been very tense. Just like it took you a long time to get here, it also cost me a lot to make this video. Take the song by ear, write the score, compose the arrangement, practice it, record it and edit the video with this long and detailed explanation to make it easier for you to learn. That is why, whenever it's within your means, I invite you to make a contribution to my project. It can be to Patreon, becoming a special member on my YouTube channel, buying one of my t-shirts or the finger style course I am working on. I thank you very much for your support. See you on my next video. A la prochaine. Arrivederci. Gute Nacht. Hasta luego.